Using conductors and insulators in electrical appliances. Unit 6.3 Cable A volt is a unit to measure the strength of electricity. We describe the strength of a supply of electricity as voltage. Voltage is denoted by V, that is capital V. Cells with a voltage of 1.5 volts or 3 volts are safe to use. You may have seen a pylon like this one in the photograph. Pylons carry electricity in cables. Cables are large wires from where the electricity is made to where it is used, that is in homes, factories and offices. The voltage of electricity carried by these cables is many thousands of volts. Appliances like microwave ovens, electric kettles and power drills use mains electricity. Mains electricity has a much higher voltage than cells. In some countries it is 110 volts and in other countries it is over 200 volts. At these high voltages, safety is very important. The parts of the appliance that you touch must be made from an insulating material. The parts inside the appliances are made from conducting materials so that electricity can pass through. You know that metals such as copper, iron and steel are good electrical conductors. The parts of electrical appliances that let electricity pass through are made of metal. For example, metal is used for the pins in a plug. The pins allow electricity to travel from the wall socket through the plug and into the appliance such as kettle or television. When we handle the plug, we only touch the cover. This is made of plastic, which is good insulator. Remember to never touch a bare electric wire especially if your fingers are damp or sweaty. Electric shocks. If means electricity flows through the body, you will get an electric shock. You will be badly burnt, your heart could stop beating and you could die. Damaged electrical wiring is one of the main causes of accidents with electricity. Plastic insulation often wears off the copper wires. You can get the shock if you touch the wires. Never place an electric wire under a carpet. When people walk on the carpet, the plastic wears off the copper wires. When bare copper wires touch each other, Electricity can flow between them and this can start a fire. We must never pull a plug like this. This damages the cord and the wires become bare. If you handle the bare wires, you could get an electric shock. Turn off the switch before you pull out the plug. Grip the plug which is made of an insulating plastic to pull the plug out of the socket. Be careful not to plug too many electrical devices into the same socket, as shown in the picture. This can overload the socket and could give you a shock if you touch the socket or one of the plugs. It could also cause a fire.